So after much waiting and anticipation, we finally have our last two relics revealed from the Witch's Apprentice game. The two items being the Green Thumb Gauntlet and the Witch's Wool Cape. The Green Thumb Gauntlet is set to appear in the episode Agony of a Witch and is described as one of the most powerful items in the Emperor's Treasury. This relic can grow anything you can imagine, from the smallest demonic daisy to the largest deadwood tree. The Witch's Wool Cape is set to appear in Youngblood Old Souls and is described as a stunning accessory that can deflect all forms of magic perfect for keeping you safe in a battle or cozy by a roaring fire. Begs the question, why don't we always wear capes, just all the time? Wouldn't that be cool? Now we've actually gotten some quick glimpses at both of these items in the sneak peek promo that released last month, so first we'll look at the Green Thumb Gauntlet. We barely see the Green Thumb Gauntlet in this shot here. Now in my original analysis video of the promo, I pointed out the harp here as being related to the Bard Coven so it's likely that this harp is an artifact for the coven in this location known as the Emperor's Treasury. And along with the harp and the green thumb gauntlet, we also see that Luce is holding a hat with the healing coven symbol on it. So this is likely the healing coven artifact. And you can barely see it, but Gus has a clone of himself, although it's different from any of his other clones that we have seen in the show thus far, as this one is glowing blue. So it's possible Gus has the Illusion Coven artifact in this moment. But based on the description of the Green Thumb Gauntlet, I would definitely say that Willow's magic is looking stronger, literally summoning a tree with arms. And the trio clearly seem to be fighting someone or something, likely Lilith, based on this image here. But how exactly do we get to this point? Now with the new promo art that Dana dropped, I've got some thoughts going into Agony of a Witch. It seems pretty clear that we'll be getting some of Ida's backstory likely pertaining to her curse. I feel like we'll get some more info, but not who did it. We know that Luce and the gang are going on their field trip, and I'm wondering if this is almost like the 8th grade field trip to Washington DC that a lot of schools do in the US. Except here on the Boiling Isles, it's going to the Emperor's Castle. Because if that's the case, then Ida and Lilith would have gone on this field trip at some point too meaning we might get some flashbacks of the two of them on the field trip, possibly getting some backstory on Ida's curse. I'm wondering if Ida has some sort of unfinished business from the field trip and Luce kind of takes it upon herself to finish the job, and that's why she strays from the group. She could possibly be looking for this healing coven artifact or an artifact in this treasury room for Ida. Although she could have just grabbed it randomly, it does seem like Lilith is attacking them in this scene, so maybe she just grabbed the closest artifact to her. Now, from the promo, we know that Lilith talks to Bellos. There are two instances, one where she is wearing her cloak and the other where she isn't. It's possible that these happen in the same scene, but since Lilith is wearing her cloak in this shot here, I feel that they may be two different interactions. The one with the cloak happening in Agony of a Witch. Although Matthew Reese was not credited in the official synopsis for the episode, so I could be totally wrong. But if that does end up being the case, I feel like Bellows has threatened Lilith with some sort of punishment if she doesn't get Ida next time. Hence why Lilith would be attacking Luce, Willow, and Gus, probably thinking she can use Luce and the others as leverage to get Ida. We also see from the promo that Lilith has King and Luce attacks her wearing the Witch's Wool Cape, which I am assuming she got from the Emperor's Treasury. I mean, I hope Ida didn't forget to mention that she had a powerful magic deflecting cape, but this is Ida we're talking about, so maybe she did. But assuming that Luce does get this from the treasury and also the clothing change from her school uniform to her regular clothes, some time has passed between this moment here and this moment here, which is likely from young blood old souls. So maybe Luce gets away at some point and comes back. Lilith did threaten in Wing It Like Witches that she would be coming back to the Owl House and wouldn't be alone. So maybe she grabs Ida and King, or perhaps Ida isn't there and Lilith just takes King instead. Alternatively, Lilith could have captured Ida and Luce and King go to save her leading to this moment. Now, I don't think Luce will actually be able to beat Lilith here. I think she'll only be able to hold her off for Ida and King to make an escape. And the only reason I feel this will be possible is because of this OP cape. Now, I'm wondering if one of the twists with this cape is that it will somehow control Ida's curse. We know it's a magic deflecting cape, which makes it seem like it's used to protect the wearer from magic being cast on them. But what if the cape can control the magic of the curse? We know that Ida's elixir isn't working anymore, so maybe this insanely powerful cape will be a temporary method of trying to control it. 
We saw from Escape of the Palisman that King's Rage Squeal can bring Ida back to her normal self, but King may not always be around, so having a magical cape that could possibly control the curse might be a good backup to have. In any case, Agony of a Witch and Young Blood Old Souls look like they're going to be two intense episodes and will definitely be a hell of a way to close out season one. But man, we are just all going to be living in fear for the next two weeks. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a fantastic day, and until next time guys, take care.